Hey, this is Dave with the Shepherd School, and today I've got my Glock slide here. We're going to talk about something that is um, part of the Glock legend. Yes, it is true that the Glock can fire underwater. Um, it does have some modifications to make it um, do that in a more reliable manner. However, let me just say, in the Glock Armor School, when they're talking about this, they said, uh, you know, people shoot their bathtub, they shoot holes in their toilet, you know, they shoot holes in their swimming pool, you know, and then they want to Glock, get Glock to try to replace it. You know, if you do any of that stuff, you're stupid, right? Um, firing a Glock underwater is just like firing a Glock above water. You know, the bullet's going to travel and it's going to do damage. Now, it might not go as far, you know, as it would in air, but, you know, it will shoot a hole through your above ground swimming pool. So be careful. And another thing with this, you know, the Glock, may fire underwater, but the human body is not designed to fire guns underwater. If you do this a lot, you know, you can you can damage your internal organs. Really, what this was designed to do was fire in wet environments so that, you know, if you drop your gun in the swamp and you pick it up or you come out of the swamp, you know, that your gun will fire even though it's, it's waterlogged and wet. Okay? So, what happens is water cannot compress and so Glock modified some pieces of the guns or designed some of the guns with things to allow the water to shed and this is the main one maritime spring cups okay this is one half of a set of maritime spring cups and as you look at it It's cut out. Here, let me get where you can see that better. Yeah. You see how the the lips have have little tips on them. Okay. Let's contrast that with regular normal spring cups. You take a normal spring cup. That tip, that lip, is solid all the way around. Okay, So the difference between a maritime spring cup and a normal swing spring cup is this has just got rebated. It's just been cut to allow water to flow past it. Solid. Cut. Okay. Now, um, as far as reliability goes, this is a piece that wears. Okay, And if you've got more to support it, it's going to wear longer. If you have a spring cup where half of the material is gone, it's going to wear in a quicker amount of time. All right. Let me just show you where the spring cup goes. So we pulled the back plate off of our slide, pulled the firing pin assembly out. Okay. Here's the firing pin spring, and then this black band are the two halves of the spring cups. The two spring cups, the two halves, sit together and make a tube. Okay? Now it's very important that you replace these as a set because they wear. Okay? You can't just replace one, you have to replace two. Okay? The gun will not function without the spring cups, okay? And so I try to always have some in stock, especially since I keep dropping them. Anyway, if you put your maritime spring cups in instead of the normal spring cups, any water that gets inside the firing pin chamber will be able to push through and go past the firing pin you know, so that you can get a full strike, all right? Without that, water can't compress, and it gets in there, and it can uh, slow down your firing pin movement so that the gun doesn't, uh, doesn't fire, okay? It doesn't have enough pressure to hit the primer. So I don't really recommend these, right? And I can't really figure out where I can uh, safely shoot this underwater to demonstrate it. 
but you hear a lot of folks talking about maritime spring cups. Now this is just like the three and a half pound connector, this is something that Glock will not sell you. They will only sell it to law enforcement agencies with a letter from the chief, from the you know sheriff or chief of police, explaining why that you want them. Okay, and that's to keep people from shooting holes in their toilets, because uh, people do that. So anyway, here you go, spring cups. I've got them to show you because they were pretty cheap, um, but uh, I don't really think they're a useful modification. But if I could ever figure out um, a place where I can shoot this thing underwater, I'll put them in and do a demo. So anyway, there you go. Until next time, you can always catch online www.tngun.com.